Hey guys, Mr. Nogi Jiu Jitsu. Just doing my, uh, just want to show you guys a, a move that I like to do in, in practice on me before I get to my own little workshop that I do every night. And uh, it's great because these practice dummies, they're, they're not the real thing, obviously, but they, they let you just do the same attack a thousand times. You get to be selfish, work on yourself. Um, 10 reps, because learning a new technique, practice, um, just doesn't cut it for me, you know? So I like to use the, the practice dummy to, to build those fundamental movements, make, make things second nature, um, like I preached in all, all my other videos. Um, I, I think they're awesome because they, they let you just be, they let you just work on you. That's why I, I like to call it my workshop when I when I kind of, uh, you know, hit this up before I go to sleep. So, um, basic leg lock from, from guard. That's what we want to go over today. So, building fundamental movements that work when you drill, when you drill or, or roll with your partners or if you compete in competition. Um, Basic leg locks, everybody grabs that ankle and they hop into the leg and uh, without proper training, uh, they're just kind of going for it, you know what I mean, which there's nothing wrong with it, with it, but if you just tweak a couple things, a couple basic fundamental movements that that uh, you may or may not know, um, it'll make the world a difference. So for me, I always have one leg inside, I think a lot of grapplers do. And I have one foot back, so we got combat base, rear up on your feet. I like being up on my feet. So what I'll do is if they're playing this open guard and they're just kind of putting their feet up, what I'm looking for is a foot to get caught inside. And it doesn't have to be that you can just be sitting here. As long as it's pushed up against me or, or somewhere in this vicinity, I know I can go for it with, with, with minimal risk. So what I'm trying to do, we can break it down into A, B, C step, is uh, I'm gonna go A, which is catch the leg, where that foot is stuck. B, I'm gonna kind of come forward, open my hips up, but what's gonna happen is my foot is gonna come up and my heel is almost gonna strike his abdomen, right? So I'm here, boom. Oh, I'm get closer for the camera. So if we're here, you got the heel, heel in the abdomen, and then I drop down. Too many people, they put their heel next to the butt, they come out, and the guy just hops on the foot. We want to heel on the abdomen, squeeze the legs together. That'll give you your kill shot. So. It's a super easy movement that you can do at home and you don't need a practice partner to do it and you're gonna finish at least 100% more if you're not doing that heel on the abdomen. So, I got leg, heel, there's my leg look. I can switch it up. I can act like I'm really doing it or I can feed it through. If he tries to roll, I get a double on there. So, these are things that, it's just basic movements that are gonna, to level up your game. So I'll just hit three real quick, so you can get a good look at what it looks like. I've been transferring to the other side, because I expect people to either roll or hop through, and I just, I'm already moving to the next thing, so here we go. Ah. Hook the leg, pull it through. Ankle, step through, finish it off, hook the leg, hook the leg, pull it through. Hook the ankle, stomp, boom, the shit's broken, pass it through, feed it through. So, great fundamental movements, especially if you're building those legs. Um, I highly suggest blues and purples. Definitely hit this up. White belts too. I don't think it's ever too early to start leg locking. So if you guys liked it, please like and comment. Share the video. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great solo drill. And uh, 
I hope it levels you guys up.